the religious, too religious to shirk his responsibility in any way. I'm saying that that was a truly great religious period of man. But once these foreign clowns begin to organize and misinterpret what the great Nile Valley African thinkers had and begin to slap names on them and begin to make political and military use of them, that's why the whole thing went wrong. Now, when we look at Islam, where the brothers go wrong, that every time they move from one religion to another, they think the new religion has been with us forever. It is the newest of the world's religions and the last one to come into the mainstream of historical consideration. And when you separate it from Arabism, if you can, and it is difficult, I must admit, but when Islam moved over into North Africa, North Africa, Northeast Africa was a fallen land. It had been raped for 1,000 years. The conquest wasn't much of a conquest. Starting with the Cambyses invasion 550, and they didn't arrive until 639 A.D. And the Cambyses invasion was 550 B.C. Over a thousand years later they got there and they had one invader after another, Greeks, Romans. What resistance was left? All the great structure torn down. They were ready for anything when they arrived. They said they're bringing a great civilization. They arrived to feast on the fallen body of a once great culture. All right, now let's go back and pick them up at a period, the infancy of, of this thing, but let's look at these religions and look at um, these now valid civilizations. Look at them um, as the basis of Western, Western religions. And all the time this had happened <coughs> while Europe was in was in it was in its in, in its darkness. Now, when you take this like a classroom teacher, you've got to go into uh, into details. And when you go into these details, you've got to look at the making of the spirituality of now valid people and to what extent this influence the people of the Tigris and the Euphrates and the development ultimately of the people who became the people called Arabs. Remember, and this is hard for the new convert to understand, that inactivity as a place in human history, the Arabs are basically an A.D. people. There is no B.C. activity of consequence 
that can be attributed to them. Now, if you want to build a religion around them that has been there forever, and if you want to say, as some brothers have said, God created the first Muslim, his name was Adam, I don't know what you're talking about. And if you want to create an Islam that started before the Prophet Muhammad, again, I don't know what you are talking about. But if you want to say that the elements, the sentiment, the basic social thought that went into the making of the religion existed in Africa before Christ, I can understand what you're talking about. But if you're going to say the religion existed before Christ, I don't know what you're going to talk about. I don't know what you're talking about. Then if you say that Islam is the black man's natural religion, I don't know what you're talking about. But if you say spirituality, the spirituality that went into the making of all three of these religions is the natural spiritual inheritance of the black man, I know what you're talking about. So you have to define your, sem your, your semantics, and you got to define your terminology before I understand what you're talking about. But you cannot say that he had a religion way back there called Islam because Islam didn't exist way back there. Islam came into existence around the 7th century A.D. And that's what we're going to deal with. Just for your information. Some people never seen the Quran. This is it. In English and in Arabic. This is a, a short history of, the, of Muhammad and the early caliphs and the early heroes of Islam. This is a book all, all black Muslims should have read called Christianity, Islam, and the Negro Race by Edmund Wilkmont Blyden. I have two shelves of books dealing with Islam, Arabs, and their history alone. Two shelves. And I read practically everything and every word and every book. I grew up a Baptist Sunday school teacher. I belong to an African spirituality. I respect all religions when they practice what they preach. Now, we have to distinguish between what a religion is, what it can be, and what it promises to be. Now let us start with the present, then work back. Let us start with Elamazaroy's series, The Africans. Because this series will and has done a lot of damage, principally because most African people who see the series never read one book on Islam, never read one book on Arab history, and do not plan to do so. And all they have is his word. And they're not going to check him out. He tells you a few good things about Africa. Then he is running strictly an Arab Islamic game. And he is running it well. It is a con game. And it is not about African history at all because he is not telling you African history. He is telling you basically 
a few tidbits of African history in order to get his Arab Islamic point across. And